hand soldering. In this lesson, the learner will be able to define soldering, explain the tools required for the soldering process, explain the soldering process using step by step instructions. I am Mambo. I am an electrical technician. A few minutes ago, I was enjoying myself by listening to a song with my headset. Suddenly, I felt that it was not playing properly as I could not hear the song clearly. On checking, I found out that my right side headset was not working. On closer inspection, I found that a wire has gotten disconnected from the headphone jack. Being an electrical technician, I knew that soldering is the only way to connect it again. I will show you in detail how I am going to repair it. Soldering is a metal joining process in which a filler metal called a solder is melted to fill the gap between two metal pieces. At first, I took all the tools and materials required for this process. These are the solders, this is the flux and this is the soldering iron and the wire stripper and finally, this is my headset which I am going to repair. Solder or filler material Solder or filler material is an alloy of tin and lead. It is available in the market in the form of wires and sticks. The wire form is used for joining small wires and the stick form is used for big power cables. Solder has a melting point ranging from 90 degrees Celsius to 450 degrees Celsius depending on the ratio of tin and lead. The table shows the composition of tin and lead in a solder and their melting temperatures. The table clearly shows that the decrease in the percentage of the composition of lead decreases the melting temperature of the solder. Let us move on to the flux. This is the flux which I am going to use for the soldering process. This is applied between the workpiece and the solder in order to obtain a complete bond and full strength at the joints. The flux will clean the joint area and also prevent oxide formation during the soldering process. It is available in powder, liquid and paste forms. The one that I am going to use is the paste flux. Now we will move on to the soldering iron. An electrically heated tip is called as soldering iron. There is a heating element inside it which gets heated up when it is connected to an electrical supply. This heat is transferred to the tip. When the tip is placed over the solder, the solder gets melted. Now I am going to solder the disconnected wire. This is the wire stripper. I am going to remove the insulation from the wire by using this tool. This is the headset jack. Now, I am going to apply the flux all over the joints. As mentioned earlier, the flux will clean the joint area and also prevent oxide formation during the soldering process. It's time to insert the wire into the hole of the headset jack. And I have twisted it well for making a better joint. I heat the solder iron by using an external power supply. Now, I take the solder over the joint which gets melted by the tip of the solder iron. Then I apply the small tin solder onto the joint. It will take only a few seconds to adhere. Now I am going to check whether my headset is working fine. Wow! Yes, it is. I am going to go and enjoy the remaining of the song now. So, catch you guys later. Bye. Let us sum up what we have learned in this module. Soldering is a joining process in which a filler metal called a solder is melted to fill the gap between two metal pieces. Soldering requires solders, flux soldering iron and a wire stripper.